Hey everyone, welcome back. Chris McCormick joined by Blake Smith, and today we are with Tom at the Cobra Puma headquarters in Carlsbad, California, taking a look behind the curtain at some of the new technology coming for 2024. So, Tom, thanks for having us, first of all. And uh, just looking at some of these blown away parts here, uh, pretty interesting technology going on under the hood. Yeah, most people don't think golf clubs are that complex when you look at the outside shapes, but there are high tech structures that are designed to be very efficient and very complex and high performance. You know, dark speed irons is kind of an issue on you. We were just uh, commenting on it now. Um, it's a system where we use a power bridge and now the power bridge has one post and we take a steel piece welded to that, weld the face on, and then we inject our foam. These are expandable cells that we inject into the part, heat it up, it expands, fills the space. That's cool. So what you want to do with these designs is you want to make the face as thin as possible. Sure. That's going to give you the most speed, it gives you the best weight savings. Mm -hmm. The challenge is if you make it too thin, it actually fails. So these foams are designed now, and think of any kind of structure you have in the world these days. There's foam engineers that design foams for all kinds of different applications. Sure. This foam we picked to design to give us a little bit of support, but also a little bit of flex. You want flex in these structures so you get more speed. <clears throat> the science of golf clubs has evolved over the years to be making systems, I would almost think of them more like tennis rackets. So tennis rackets has flexible strings in a relatively stiff frame. Right. Right. The old school of thumb of golf clubs was, oh, stiff, stiff, stiff is better. And we learned in the late 90s that Flexible is actually better because you don't squish the ball quite as much. So you're dealing with the coefficient of restitution there, uh, and that's why we design these structures to be more flexible, but they still have to hold up. Yeah, it's really cool. Everything has its own part of the golf club. I mean, even to the badge on the back, everything everything here is a symbiotic relationship to make that golf ball go as fast as possible. Yeah, and it's interesting. We You call it a badge. That's fair. Everybody does. We call it a medallion system. Okay. Because there's multi-materials in here, and what you're trying to do is the same thing. You're trying to dampen vibrations. If you just put the old-style badge on there, they don't sound very good. Yeah. So these systems have polymers, metals, carbon fiber in some cases, adhesives. Uh, I always like to joke with people as well as, you know, when you look at these adhesives, uh, forget about that. You look at the adhesives, um, adhesives are interesting. Lots of engineers working on adhesives in the world, and most people don't know that the airplanes you fly on today, most of the panels, especially the fuselage panels, are bonded with adhesives. Okay, That's cool. So <laughs> it's a pressure structure. They're designed for that, but they're bonded. Those big flat panels are bonded with adhesives. Um, so that's kind of interesting when people think about that next time you're flying. Yeah, right. I fly all the time. That's <laughs> great to know. I might, might be a little scared now. <laughs> or tape. Call it tape. Okay. It's very high tech well, tape, but it is even tape. more yeah. terrified. <laughs> that's really interesting. Just uh, everything that goes into the overall construction of the iron itself. And looking at it, there's, there's really a, a lack of appreciation for all of the components that go into it. So going from iron category now into fairway woods, and the cutaway parts are always really interesting to me to see where improvements are made and also what new materials are being integrated into those head designs. So you can tell how light that carbon fiber wow. is. You know, the industry uses a lot of that these days. Uh, Cobra was one of the leaders in that for, for many uh, years, both in shafts and in heads. But this is the titanium body of the LS Ferry Wood. And when you hold this, you'll f feel like, well, that's nowhere close to wow. the amount of weight for a head. Because we have three movable uh -huh. weights in there. And we also have, which I don't have, but you can see the, the, the holes in there. There's 38 grams of tungsten in there in those two cavities. So those allow us to get the weight low and far apart mm -hmm. and give a super low CG. The benefit of Thai Ferry Woods is you can get much lower CG than you can with steel. So with that lower CG, you guys saw from testing, higher launch, less spin, uh, good playability, and faster speeds. Titanium is a little bit more flexible uh, than steel, so you get more COR, more faster speeds. Yeah, I was feeling that. And when I, when I missed it on the, the heel and the toe, it was real stable, so when you spread that, that tungsten out and make that MOI really high. That's really good. It doesn't twist all that much. Yeah, exactly. So some of the designs we've seen in the industry have a big chunk of weight in the middle. Those aren't very good when you have miss hits. So this is really the best of both worlds. And you can see in here, there's the waviness of that face. So, you know, that's that's designed for the miss hits as well. Yeah, that's the PowerShell hot face. Again, we're trying to eke out every gram of weight in places you don't need it. So there's a lot of complex design that goes on to make these both fast but durable, as well as save weight and move that weight down low where you can perform better. It's cool, let's talk about that driver. There's a lot going on there. Yeah, so this is the LS driver. Um, again, three weight systems. You can see also there's the internal bridge structure that's lower and more forward than we've had in the past. PowerShell hot face in the driver as well. Again, 
that structure doesn't have much weight to it. Uh, when you put in the carbon fiber pieces, it's still not a lot of weight. So what do you do? You put in more weight. You put in the weight to get it the right playability. That's why it has three movable weights. We added that third weight to give a little bit wider reach to golfers because we know a lot of players love low spin performance, but some players love the aerodynamics and want a little bit more spin. So that's the back weight that allows us to do that. That's an addition this year. And you have to save all that weight from other places to be able to put another weight in there. Right. So all this is a high-tech engineering system, uh, fine-tuning the thicknesses to down to uh, tens of millimeters in many areas. And they give great performance because we're trying to get the fastest speed out. That's the, also, you can see the PowerShell phase mm -hmm. piece, um, not in the head itself. So again, maximizing the speeds, maximizing aerodynamics. Um, that's the other thing major on the LS. Uh, and we've talked about aerodynamics for a long time. Uh, we've led the industry. We still have some of the fastest ball speeds. We use Kyle Berkshire to do a lot of testing at even higher ball speeds. Um, so every year what you see, and you'll, you'll see as we launch, a very aggressive shape where we raise the back, we streamline the edges, uh, we move that crown point back, and a lot of other surface details that are, we would call them a little bit in the weeds, but every amount there is to try and get the fastest ball speed. Fastest club speed gives you the fastest ball speed. And one of the regulations that the USGA doesn't really limit us on is aerodynamics. So mm -hmm. we've led that and we're definitely uh, the fastest performing out there for club hits. Yeah, that's the area that, that you can really put a lot of emphasis in to gain some more ball speed, club head speed. I mean, club head speed, when the golf, golf club's going faster, ball's gonna come off faster. These, I mean, the, the look is awesome. That's really cool to see under the hood, so to speak. It's, it's uh, these are, it's really cool. And you had a great example of hitting them earlier today. Yeah, feels great too, so, yeah. We spent a lot of time on feel as well because we know one of the key things people still want, they want it all. Distance, accuracy, forgiveness, and feel, right? They're all important. Yep. We always want it all. That's right. And, I mean, looking at the new line, Definitely looking forward to getting it into our matrix at our local true specs. And uh, before we sign off here, make sure, give us a like, subscribe to the channel. And when you're ready to test new Cobra Dark Speed product, make sure you book your next fitting, your local true spec, and we will see you next time. <laughs>